Today we will see how to set up ClickSense on your desktop because recently there has been a lot of changes in the way ClickSense can be set up on your system. So as of today, what you need to do is you need to do three things. One, go to your browser, search for ClickSense trial. As soon as you search for this, the very first link you will get is from Click which says free 30 day trial click sense. Go there, set up your, give your first name, last name, business email, whatever is your business email. Even if you don't have a business email, fine. You can give your personal email as well. Click on next, provide your company name, whatever you want to provide. And it is not mandatory to give correct company name you can give whatever company name you feel give your job title phone number country click on activate trial as soon as you click on activate trial you will receive an email from click in your inbox and it will have verification link once you click on that verification link your click cloud id will be set up so on my screen, I already have my Click Cloud ID set up and this is how it will look. You will have home catalog collection and there are some dummy applications or sample applications are already provided. Now this is the starting point for your ClickSense journey. Here, if you go towards the extreme right where your profile name is mentioned, click on that and go to profile settings. In profile settings, there are a few options. At the very bottom is other, and in that you will find tools. Click on tools, and then you will find ClickSense Desktop. Download the latest version of ClickSense Desktop to do your analytics locally and offline. So first step is you will click on download, and it will start downloading a exe file for you you can see here clicksense desktop exe file is being downloaded which is somewhere around 1.2 gb once it is downloaded you need to do standard installation steps like the way you install any other software on your system once you do that it will ask you to log in into your account Earlier, I remember it, it used to work directly, but now there is a login page involved and you will have to give your click cloud email ID and password. The email ID and password using which you created your click cloud account, you need to use that to log in into ClickSense desktop. Once you log in, you need to come back here and click on this authenticate link. Okay, as soon as you click on authenticate link, it will authenticate ClickSense desktop on your system. Now, I already have it and I clicked on authenticate. This is what it opened. You need to log on in against ClickSense Enterprise or ClickSense Business. You can read more about login here, blah, blah, blah. And this is my authentication against ClickSense. I click on it and it will authenticate and I can start using my ClickSense desktop. So three things, one is, you need to set up your Click Cloud ID. Second is you need to download ClickSense desktop exe file. And once it is downloaded, you need to install using standard steps and login in ClickSense desktop using your Click ID. Third is go to ClickSense Cloud, go back to your ClickSense Cloud, come back to your tools and click on authenticate. Once you click here, it will take Take you to a couple of options you need to click few things and your click sense desktop is set up now in my case it is already set up so i will just log in into that and i will show you it is working for me all right there you go. My ClickSense desktop is open. I can now open applications and I can create QVFs. Another thing to note is 
a bonus thing you can look at some of the existing clicks and applications which are published as a demo applications on sensedemo.click.com there are few there are few applications which you can look at for example i was looking at supply chain you can get the look and feel of click sense how it looks on this demo page for now that's all i wanted to cover feel free to put your messages in the chat window in case you faced any issue in downloading clicksense there you go all the applications so you can open and download these applications if you want all right thank you for watching keep learning bye